Hello YouTube, Dre from Closet Ground here. Yes, I am spotting a new do since you last saw me. I actually used to wear my hair like this all the time back before I started filming YouTube videos. I looked like this my first two years of being an NFL cheerleader and I was trying to grow it out, but for my third year, it is honestly just easier to maintain it this way, especially since we're in an open dome. There's no air conditioning, so we're in the 100 degree Miami heat weather. So it is really nice on hot days to have shorter hair versus longer hair. So here I am. I'm in the middle of training camp, so I've been super, super busy, so I apologize for not posting on a weekly cadence. However, I'm back and ready to thrift. I'm going to be taking you with me to two different thrift store locations today. The first is going to be a Goodwill located right in the center of where U Miami is. So it's going to be very interesting to see what college girlies are wearing and what type of stuff is gonna be there. And then I'm going to go to the good old reliable red, white, and blue thrift, which I haven't been to in a hot minute, to see what's there. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And for those of you who are subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome back. And a little bit about the person you're watching, I'm entering my third year as an NFL cheerleader here in Miami. Before relocating down here, I was living in Brooklyn where I was working numerous corporate jobs in both Manhattan and Brooklyn. Most recently, I was working my dream job as a partnerships manager for the past five years. I recently decided to put a hold on my corporate life. I figured a nine to five will always be there. Now I am freelancing. I am a part-time seller, reseller on Poshmark and Depop, and I judge dance competitions where I travel the country, educating the future dancers of our country. Enough of me talking, let's head to these thrift stores and see what we find. Okay, we are officially in the first Goodwill by U Miami. So interesting thoughts so far, we're in the ground level of a two-story shopping complex and it's not that big in here, so I think I can get through here pretty fast. What I do like is this pair of vintage trousers. These are very 90s Y2K and I like this brand steps, very cute. However, I'll have a hard time finding a top to match that. So I don't need to think about it. This would be really cute. So I love the pattern, but if this was a sarong, I think that would be adorable versus a capri style. Yes, I just chased that new rack. There's nothing so far, but you know, I am always kind of in need of a white blazer and here is one. I don't know the brand to drop, but it kind of feels like maybe a pretty little thing type of brand just by the feel of it. Let me know if any of you know that brand. I haven't seen that before. And let's see if there's anything else in here. It's like a bunch of blouses. I don't really score too well in the blouses actually, so. And then kind of just some shorts and skirts. Yeah, nothing too much. But take a look at this. So I have an eye for Y2K and I can see that raw exposed hem and I knew immediately these are gonna be a nice pair. I really like this. These are very 90s, especially with that raw uncut like top part. Really like this, very cute. How amazing is this coquette top? I don't know the brand. It's called Review Australia. It's very beautiful, ballet core in cheer, very in right now. Insane, I just found Club Monaco at the thrift. These are in amazing condition, but they are skinny, so I'll be leaving them. Okay, I'm totally torn on this. It's personally not my style, but I know somebody on Depop may buy this, one of those boho fairy grunge type of girlies. It does feel very nice. And it is 100% cotton, which I love, but if I'm not feeling it, I'm not sure if somebody else will feel it, so I will leave it. So exciting. I just went so fast in the bikini section because there was a lot of people I didn't have time to film. I found this amazing matching Meiji floral bikini. I found this L-Space bottom. I need to go check and see if the matching top is there. I'll do a second uh, swipe through. That was the tag. Then I found this amazing, very cute cherry matching set bikini. It is my size. I love that. Love anything with fruits and cherries on it. I found another matching uh, L-Space bikini and it's reversible. That's a size large. And here's another L-Space bikini top. I love that. I need to check if there's a bottom there. Also found this. Now how gorgeous is this? And it's for Love and Lemons. That'll look so cute as like a festival top. Oh, look at this. Just saw this brand out of the corner of my eye. How exciting. They look like my size. Always need a good pair of running shorts, especially Lulu. I have no need for this now and it is just gonna take up space in my closet, but this is an amazing piece to travel back home to Jersey and to work to the airport. For $12, it's amazing. Anyone need a little live in la vida loca bathroom decor? I am now taking you into the infamous red, white, and blue thrift store in Flamingo Plaza. Let's go check out what they have. 
I just ran over to the new racks and how ridiculous is this? Gymshark leggings for $14.99. They're in really good condition, but that is just so expensive for a thrift store. Found Fabletics 2 for $4.99. That's more fairly priced. Okay, nothing too crazy in here. Oh, Levi's. Oh, but it's a midi skirt. Gonna pass on that. Oh, this is so cute. Wow, okay, definitely gonna scoop this. The top is actually like a sheer fabric and the bottom is like um lined, so it's not sheer, it's gorgeous. If it was prom season, this would be so iconic. It is Barbie core mixed with mermaid core. No, Barbie core doesn't need to be pink, but just something so fabulous and sequins like that is just so Barbie. But I'm not gonna get that in save until next May. Sometimes this dress section is picked over. I'm a little bit sad I'm not finding much. This is kind of cute, BCBG, but not my size, so I will leave it. If I had an infinite amount of space, I would definitely be grabbing this. This is a gorgeous beaded sequin prom dress in this midnight blue. It is only $4.99, but I don't have space to store, so I will leave it for somebody else. This has potential. I love the fabric and the pattern. That is gorgeous, but I don't know if I'm crazy about the cut. Let's just check it out. I haven't seen this dress before. $7.99. Okay, it's not on sale, and it's Old Navy. Interesting. Old Navy priced up, and I've never seen something like that. It must be an older style, but it is cute. I just went through all the colors. The last section is the mixed colors and the blacks. Haven't really found much, unfortunately, but this is cute. I usually find this in like a mini or midi uh size so this is really cute to see it as a maxi and it is urban so i will definitely grab this this is a pretty crazy markup 30 dollars free people seems to be a one piece flowy jumpsuit type of thing okay now this is actually really cute this is amazing to wear to the barbie movie and they love the lace pattern there very cute I am in the skirt section right now and I'm not looking for mini skirts. So I am going to do the good old trick that I like to do. And I like to look by the bottom hem and I look for unique fabrics and prints. Like this, for example, I think is so pretty, but just feeling it, I can tell it's polyester. So I'm going to leave it behind. Another pretty print, but I'll leave it. Anything intriguing here? Not so much. And this is just a faster way. Oh, this is so funny. What is this? Who, who wore this? This is just a faster way to go through the racks when you either don't have a lot of time or you want to get to a new section. Anything in here? Oh, this looks very pretty. I liked that brown embroidery and the frill hem is what intrigued me. The lace is gorgeous too in this bright blue. So perfect for end of summer and even a fall transitional piece. I don't know what brand this is, but it is gorgeous. It is so vibrant. I am absolutely in love with this. It's like a watercolor hibiscus print. Definitely vintage. Let's check it out. Oh, yes. Look at this tag. I love a good paper tag. I don't know the brand Valerie. I will definitely take this. It's hard for me to capture black on film. Plus, with the lighting, it doesn't never does it justice. But I wanted to show this piece. This is a vintage genuine leather suede lord and taylor maxi skirt and i wanted to show this because that is an amazing deal for 4.99 i remember how expensive lord and taylor used to be but here it is i would get it but it's too bulky for me. just found another one this time much closer to my size since it is vintage i am definitely gonna get this i'll do the old bring it around the neck trick and see if it fits but this is gorgeous and i love the paneling I wanted to show you this brand in case you haven't seen it before. This is called Royal Bones. And I'm not sure if it's sold at Hot Topic, but it's like a Hot Topic, Trip NYC equivalent brand. And I'm not gonna get it because it is a little bit plain, but just keep an eye out for it because they do have unique pieces. At Red, White & Blue, they always separate the higher end luxury bags from the bag wall that I'm about to go to, but you can find gems in both. Usually the price points here are like 35 to $100. So I wanted to show you what's here today. Nothing too much. You have a fake Louis here. You can definitely tell it's fake just by the cheap gold hardware. That's a dead giveaway. And same exact thing with this bag. Look at the hardware. And we're at the infamous bag wall. And oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay, so this hot pink bag here. This is definitely an imitation Luella bag. If you're not familiar with the brand, I actually learned about it from TikTok because somebody else spotted that I, I missed a real one while panning uh, to showcase another purse. So I'm actually going to show a little highlight of Luella um, on the screen when I edit this video. 
Um, but continuing on, we have some fake Louis here, a very crinkly Dooney and Burke bag. And not much else going on, honestly. Another fake Louis. Who remembers these vintage goach bags from the 90s? Excited to check out the shoes. I see these immediately. So this is by the brand Shoots or is it Shuts? I'm not sure, but they make really cute like Miami style sandals. These have no support whatsoever, so I will be leaving them. Who remembers these? I think they're Steve Madden. I don't know. I'm not even going to look at the tag, but more excitingly, look at these. These are Manola Blahniks, but doesn't the gold look a little bit like too tarnished? I'm not really crazy about them. I wish they were cute, but you can really find good brands here. Yes, I live in Miami, but that does not stop me for having an obsession with amazing jackets. This is so soft and I've always wanted to go on like an Alaskan cruise and this would just be perfect for it, but I just don't have space for it. This is something I'd never get in a million years, but I wanted to show you this vintage cachet tag. It's amazing that this is literally from the 80s. It's so worn. This has definitely been loved and seen a lot of things, more than I've seen. Yes, it's the start of August, but it's halfway past summer, so I'm not going to pass up a good black leather trench. This is in amazing condition. It has that black paneled leather paneling, and it's only $7.99. So lately I've been skipping the lingerie section here at Red, White & Blue because it's just so overpicked with other Y2K girlies. This though is very cute. I love finding a good gold label and this print is so cute, very watercolor. And I found the matching robe a few items away. Very cute. I'm definitely gonna get it to have it as a matching set. But let me tell you, let me know if anybody sells matching vintage Victoria's Secret sets. They do not sell for me, but I think that'd be cute for me. Wanted to show you this that you can find Tory Burch out in the wild here at Red, White, and Blue. These are a really nice pair of pants, but that price point, I will be leaving them behind. But definitely wanted to show you that. And let's see what else is in here. Oh, these are amazing. Okay, vintage. Yes, I love it. These are like a pinstripe. They very much remind me of like a railroad style, but very cute. We'll grab these. I'm in one of the last rows I'm going to go through today, the tank section. This is a really cute Y2K top, but it's not my size. Just wanted to show you. And I love this gold sequin top. This I actually think I'm going to snag. It's very fabulous and sequins are very in right now. I just went through my car and so far this is everything I will be getting. And these are the items that I will not be getting. So the first is this, it is very cute. It's a sheer lingerie lace mini slip baby doll dress. Love that vintage tag, but I don't wanna get stuff that I'm just gonna hold on to. Also I have so many slips that I'm selling already, although this is very cute. I am going to pass on that. I'm also going to pass on Victoria's Secret slip set. It's not something that sells well for me if I ever get bored of it, so I don't think it's worth picking up right now. I am going to pass up the urban dress because blue is not on sale, and I love the color of this orange skirt, but I don't have that much space in my apartment to store it, and I am going to pass on the Barbie slip dress. This red, white, and blue has an amazing kitchenware and houseware, long grow. I love going through the ceramics, like this, for example. I love the colors of this, and I love going through like the teapots and seeing how I can bring them back to life in a different way. In my apartment right now, I, I pot, pot those plants and have it vine down. It's really cute. I've always kind of wanted a pair of white Air Force Ones. And are these, I mean, they are kind of yellowed and actually never mind. They're priced at $30, so I'll be leaving them. I love this needlepoint print. It's in somebody else's car, but how cute is that? Love finding Ralph Lauren at the thrift, especially when it's this type of knit sweater. This will definitely sell on Depop. I almost love this. I love the frill front hem, but the sleeves, they kind of need to be bell sleeves for me for this to work. So I will leave it. This, however, I love. So this is crazy. It's Victoria's Secret, but it's a wool mohair blend, which is absolutely insane. I had no idea that they even made wool pieces. And this is very grandma coastal core, all the cores. I love it. I like going through here to see if we can find those old sequin granny bags. And speaking of the devil, here is one. This is really cute. It's a very soft mauve velvet material. And this is actually the style that I'm looking for, but I'm not crazy about that colorway. This is very cute though. Love, love, love going through the suits because sometimes they have track suits mixed in and other matching sets. So you always want to go through. However, I love this green set. However, it's not my size. I just wanted to show you that. It's so cute. Love that lace belt. This set is really cute, very bohemian. I love the print of it. I can't tell if this is a maxi skirt or pants. 
Either way, it's very cute and reminds me of a peacock, and I love that it's a matching set. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Right in the middle of the suit sets is this Outdoor Voices workout set. In my size, it is priced up, but you can find gems in here. I am in love with this. I would get this if that was an adjustable drawstring, but it's an elastic waistband, so I can't adjust it. This is a size large, but how comfortable does this look? One last look at the jeans before we go, and I can already tell that I'm gonna love this pair. I love sorting through the back because you can tell if jeans have no pockets, and that's what I look for. So this is an amazing pair of vintage guest jeans. They do look small for the size. I think I saw it was a 27, but I love the back. It is very cute. I was able to narrow it down to these items, and this is everything that I decided on today. Okay, so I've returned and I have a pretty decent haul. I have a big bag down here. I've tried separating it between the first Goodwill and the second thrift store. The thing about going to new thrift stores is sometimes I don't really like it because I know I'm taking a risk with what type of stuff is there. Is it usually a crowded location? You really don't know until you go versus going to like old reliable ones, right? So I'm very lucky that I did find some items at the first Goodwill. So let's go through them. The first item of business is this vintage pair of 90s Y2K velvet bootcut flare jeans. And I love the patchwork style. This tag is amazing. It says laser jeans and these are a size five. They are 96% cotton, 4% spandex, which I love. And here's the back. Even though I did the classic neck trick, there was some room which i guess i should have known that they weren't gonna fit but these will be up on my depot so this thrift store i actually did pretty good in the swim section everything else was pretty picked over the first bikini that i want to show you is this adorable cherry matching set it does remind me of like the 1960s like it's definitely 60s inspired i like the tie front detail here it does come with padding included and here are the cute little bottoms these are a size small so I found that bikini. I also found this bikini top. Anytime that I find a top, I always scour the rack for the matching bottom because at Goodwill and any thrift store, sometimes there's a set, but they just totally separated it. So you always want to check to make sure that the full set isn't there. But this is a For Love in Lemons bikini top. I think this is the La Rochelle bandeau top. And what I love about this is it's not only if I can hold this right, it's not only perfect as a bikini top, but I so envision this as like a music festival top with a white maxi skirt, one of those big brown chunky belts. This is in a gorgeous condition and I love this, what do you call this? Like a U thing, U metal piece. And I really like the detailing here. It has a little gold charm here and the frill is just to die for. So super stoked that I found that. I also found this matching I actually found a few L-Space bikini items at this thrift, but this was the only set, I believe. So what's cool about this is here's the top and here is the matching bottom. This is reversible. So I actually love the color block style of the teal and white, but it can be reversed to this blue and the back is this racer back style with crisscross straps. This is a size large, excellent condition. I also found this top. I thought this was such a mermaid core piece. This would look really cute as bikini top with white bottoms or also as a music festival top. There are beading and sequin detailing, as you can see. There were some loose threads, but I tried picking them. Overall, all the beads are still intact. There is no brand. It seems to be, I think it's a South American brand because there's a letter in here, G, and I don't really know what G represents, but thrifting in Miami, you get a lot of South American brands, which is really cool. So that's what I think that is. I also found this brand new with tags, Black Bow. Is that how you say it? So this brand is actually newish to me. I only found out about it this year. These retail, if you ever find this brand, here's the logo so you can see out at the thrift. Definitely pick it up, especially if you can find a matching set. So these go for a lot, especially now that I found it new with tags. This is an adorable keyhole Ayelet bikini top. Also really cute with like a white maxi skirt. I don't know what it is with white maxi skirts. They just go with anything that's like a bikini top. And here are the tags. And this is a size small with adjustable straps. So that's all this one that I found. I thrifted this TLF sports bra. So this is an athleisure company that's based in Fort Lauderdale, actually, but it's sold nationally, maybe even internationally. I thrifted this because I actually already own this piece and I know how comfortable it is. 
and I actually have this exact same size so it may look wrinkly the straps but when it's stretched out you can't tell it looks really streamlined and the back is really cute and strappy this will be up on my Posh Poshmark anything that's like a higher end luxury fitness brand I do thrift it either for myself or to resell just because I know how in demand sports bras are and then I got this Sherpa brand new with tags North Face and this I know I live in Miami and it's like 100 degrees every day, but this is perfect for flying. This is, let's see, there's no style name, but see, you can see that it retailed for $70 and I got it for 12. So to me, that's worth it. I love Nike. Maybe I'm on the Nike bandwagon, but actually not maybe, I definitely am. So anytime I find nice Nike, especially like this, I'm definitely gonna scoop it and I think it's so cute. So that was all the first Goodwill. Would I go back? Maybe if I'm in the area, I would stop by. This is on the ground floor of a two-story like strip mall. And it wasn't that big, but it's in a good area. So if I'm there, I would I would go again if I needed to kill like 30 minutes. It's one of those Goodwills where you don't you're not gonna spend like three hours there. It's pretty much you can go through everything in 30 minutes, honestly, if you know what you're doing. So and next up I have the red, white, and blue thrift trip. The first item that I have here, I just couldn't believe that this was so cheap. It is a little bit big on me, which I'm sad about. It is a size six, but this is definitely vintage. I mean, look at that gorgeous Lord & Taylor tag. Didn't Lord, did Lord & Taylor close all of their locations or just some of their mall locations? Cause I know the one in my malls near me definitely closed down a few years ago. So I wonder, are these gonna be hard to find nowadays? Like a rare commodity. So this was actually $3.99, which is insane because this is 100% genuine leather. And I love this. It is unfortunately a tad big on me, but when I go like this, it seems like it would fit, but it is big in the waist. And it has a back side, uh, it has a back zipper enclosure. And I just love it. I love the seam detailing. This is gonna be super, super gorgeous for fall and winter. I can already picture it with like a cream turtleneck, high knee kitten boots. So yeah, I have to decide if I'm gonna keep this or not. Otherwise it will be listed on my Depop, so keep an eye out for that. How gorgeous is this 100% silk dress? So it is labeled a size medium, but I'm an extra small and honestly it fits me. I'm just a little bit too short for it. And it fits because the whole back is adjustable. There's no zipper enclosure. You just pull the straps here as you tighten it in the back, the straps get all adjustable on top. So it can really fit like an extra small to a size medium, but this is a gorgeous, very asymmetric, here I'll stand so you can see the hem, maxi dress. It is just simply gorgeous. I love the watercolor style and I love the colors like this blue purple is to die for. This is something I want to keep, but I'm too, I'm honestly too short for it. You'll see in the photo that I uploaded. But this is just honestly stunning. And this, I took the price tag out, but this is by a brand called Single Dress. There it is. And it's a beautiful vintage tag, probably in the 90s. I love seeing these paper tags. It's so exciting for me. So that I found that was gorgeous. Two great items. This too, I thought was super funky and fun. This is definitely like a coastal grandma type of piece. So it's brand new with tags, which is super exciting. Anything that's vintage like this, I just, I love. So this is by a brand, I don't know anything about it, Valerie New York, and it even has the size tag here, style H and 16, but that is super exciting to me. I believe this was $3.99, I took the tag off. But this is another watercolor print that I like. This is something definitely that I would picture in like my grandma's couch when I would grow up, you know, <laughs> that was like, I don't know, I'd have to find a photo or like that uh, cup from the mall that's like white, with the stripes, the purple black stripes. I'll post a photo of that too, but this is what that reminds me of for some reason. And the, here's the paper tag and it's gorgeous union made, made in USA. This does say a size 16. I would say this is perfect for a, honestly, maybe a medium, medium to large. I'll take the measurements, but it does have a lot, a lot of stretch. Maybe I'd say medium, but I love this. It's like seriously having a piece of history, which is so cool, especially brand new with tags. If I'm in the skirt section and I see a skirt that's under $5 and it's 100% cotton or linen, I will probably almost always scoop it just because it is excellent material and maxi dresses are super in. This is by a brand called By Design, and this is just a plain size small, 100% cotton 
There you go. Pleated midi maxi skirt. It does have a layering piece underneath, which I like. It gives it some volume. So I definitely wanted to scoop that. I also got this skirt. So this I thought was super fun. This is Susan Graber style. Another 100% cotton piece. And I love the vibrant turquoise color of this. It is so perfect for summer. And it does have like a brown floral embroidery there and the lace is to die for. This too is a layered, has double layering. So really nice volume here. Seriously love the color of this. I love anything that's different and bright. It's so funny, when I was living in Brooklyn, I used to only wear black. My whole closet was black going to all these different techno events. And now living down here, I'm all about color. It's just such a different scene here in Miami versus New York. So love this piece. I found two pairs of vintage guest jeans and they are so perfect in Y2K and fabulous. Here's the first pair. This is a size 23. So this is for a smaller girly. These are a boot cut flare style with a washed, worn pinstripe aesthetic. I love the cross belt here, very 90s looking. This actually has the style and this is called the Frankie Flare, which is cool and has back flare pockets. Kind of reminds me of a train conductor. So that was the first pair and this is the second pair which fits me like a glove, which is so fun for me. So I love finding jeans without back pockets. They're not really functional, but they're very cute. And these have cute flat pockets on the front and these also are like a flare boot cut style. And here's the tag just so you can see. And on the back, it has this really cute guess patch, which I like. And these were $2.99, are you kidding me? So, love those pieces. I found this in the maxi slip section. This is so gorgeous. This whole top half is actually sheer. So it becomes not sheer as soon as it hits the hip and the rest of it is covered. So you can see your skin in this whole upper body part. It is really, really nice. It doesn't really capture on film, but in real life, it, the detail to this is amazing. I love the cute rosette here. And you can see that it's, you can, I guess, wear it off the shoulder, but I wore it a little bit wide like this. And here is the detail. It's almost like, yeah, it is polka dot with lace, which is so fun. And here is the tag. Never saw this before. It says circa 2000, and this is made in USA. So this I thought was so pretty as like a wedding negligee or just to wear out, honestly, you can wear a bandeau and like white little shorts underneath. Amazing summer piece. This I got because I thought it was super fun. This is a 90s Y2K sequin gold top. I thought this could double as a dress, but it is a little bit too short. I mean, I guess you could, who's gonna stop you? There are these really nice bejeweled details here. And this is by a brand called Agassi, Agachi, but there's the tag. This is very fabulous, 90s Y2K, I love it. This piece was super interesting to me. I wanted to scoop it because I had no idea Victoria's Secret made wool pieces. So this is a maxi crochet knit open cardigan. It does have a central tie here, wherever it is, here it is. And it has this grandma style color, collar. And what's crazy is there's a Victoria's Secret tag. This is a wool mohair <clears throat> blend. And yeah, I just had no idea that they even made wool. I'd have to look up when this piece is from, but it's really pretty. It's this baby blue color. And this is another fabulous Y2K piece. And it's a, an amazing piece that's transitionary for summer into fall. How much does this remind you of Sporty Spice? I love this. This is another 90s Y2K piece and it is by Charlotte Russe. What's gorgeous about this is it has this boning and not cup inserts, but kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's the silhouette is, if you can see from the side how it sticks out, it's almost like a Coke bottle, if you know what I mean. I love how bodycon and futuristic it is. It does remind me something that IMG would produce now, even though this is a mall brand from the 2000s and 1990s, which is just crazy to see how funny fashion is and how cyclical trends are. Definitely wanted to get this and I love the zipper detail. We're almost done. I found this Ralph Lauren 100% cotton sweater. Anytime that I see a Ralph Lauren piece at the thrift, I will scoop it because I have thrifted some of these before and have put them on my Poshmark and Depop and they sell really fast. What I love about this is you have this contrast pink with the blue logo, but you also have this really, really cute button detail. And this is definitely very coastal chic. 
and there's the tag, Ralph Lauren Sport. Now let me tell you, I have no idea the difference between Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren Sport, but whenever I see that and I see the horse logo, I will be getting it. As two items, I found this amazing Western belt. This is a tad big on me. I did not try it on at the store. This I would say is perfect for a medium. And how can a belt be too big? Because the hooks here, I need it, it ends here. I need it kind of more in here. So that's how it's too big. I guess I can make my own holes, but I don't want to ruin this. Let me see if there's a brand here. No brand, but it does say size 32. And here is that. I love this. The details are amazing. So love this Western, Southwestern type of belt. That is the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I know if you go to my channel and you go through all my videos, it's all come thrift with me's and thrift haul videos. I do love making those and they're not gonna stop, but I think I'm gonna try and add in some different video ideas. Maybe what sold Saturdays or what sold this week or maybe what sold over the past two weeks just so I have enough stuff so you guys can see what's been selling and what hasn't been selling. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you could like this video and subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that so much as it helps greatly with the algorithm. Thanks everyone, I will see you next time.